I think right now the questions are really about cities and about our environment. No? So how do we create good environments for people and how do the cities start to um, be possible to live in? Because uh, as we all know, a city of 22 million has its challenges. Um, and I think we architects are very equipped to deal with complex problems and to moderate and to deal with big teams. So this works for both uh, the way my office works and how the school works. And I, I think that it really is important to educate students right now to understand that shifting role and to get them ready for that. Because I think there's a huge opportunity for architects to be much more relevant in what we do. Because we do understand all these things and not many people do. So we can actually give even the roughest materials the highest level of intelligence by embedding things in it. Or so the, the, the technology becomes integral rather than applied, you know, like a lamp would be stuck on a wall or an outlet is stuck on a wall. But now we can start to really mold things into surfaces so that the surfaces themselves have a level of intelligence. And it's interesting that with our cars, we're very used to, you know, that we have a button and the glass goes down. No. In our house, we have these ancient looking windows, you know, which always sometimes slide, sometimes don't slide. But we don't expect the same technology in our house, which is really interesting to me. So I feel like it's really time that we look at architecture through the eyes of the industrial designer and unlimited possibilities. Even the soft padding I like. No? We have the door of the of the car has this like nice padding. But also environment, you know, how do you build a new environment which is much more conducive to these things, no? It is auditory, it's about smell, it's about toxic or non-toxic materials. Yeah, all these things are really important. So that's why often when I do a very organic thing and it's still in a very natural material which expands, which you know absorbs humidity, which lives and breathes. 